Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing and I made a card that I just wanted to share with you. I used Along the Way from Jen Hadfield. This product is showing up in Tuesday mornings all over right now, but a date with my, look at that washi tape on the, on the counter, a date with my craft room, Tasha, she sent me this product in the spring and that is how long that washi tape has been stuck to the counter and i just got it in my head when she sent it to me that i wanted to use the washi tape it's the washi tape with the lemons and it goes with the paper so i stuck it to the counter before easter and it has been there ever since so i finally decided this week i had some days off and i made a list of things like this and i'm getting random craft projects and things around the house done I didn't really have a plan when I started. I went through and looked. This blue is blue cardstock and it has a gorgeous stitched die cut border around the edge. Tasha sent it to me in the Happy Mail and it was really impressive. This was her first Happy Mail ever and it was over the top. I will link to that video in the description below because if you haven't seen it, she made all those embellishments for me and put all kinds of stuff together. I got the whim to tear this paper. I don't know why. I was looking for contrast and it opened it up and let that blue show through. So I tore it. You'll notice that I tear this, the paper in the same way so that more of the white layer shows. If I went the other way, then the white layer would be underneath. That's a weird paper tearing nuance. So I like it like this with a lot of contrast the way it is right now. But I didn't think that the bits of blue showed very well around that cute scalloped border that she had used. So then I decided to get out my punches and find something to add another layer to help that blue scallop pop and not get lost in the blue of the cardstock. In the end, the direction this card goes, I don't know that this matters. So I went through all of my, I went through the paper and I'm looking at the different ones. That stripe right there and a bunch of the other stripe, it's gold foiling. It, it looks like brown or tan. That's gold foil too in the video. So if you're interested in this product, just keep in mind there's tons of beautiful gold foiling in it. And I don't know that the video does it justice. So I'm going through my punches. You'll notice I mark my punches with a Sharpie on the bottom. So sometimes when you watch me punch, you can see what size it is. That helps me and I always use my punches upside down so that's how I do it. I didn't like that punch. It was too small. It didn't really set it off and show the scallops like I'd hoped. But I, I don't know why I didn't notice that because I punched it the first time with a piece of scratch paper and then I punched this paper and went, oh that's terribly small. It doesn't make it pop and it didn't show any of the gold foiling on that paper. So then when I laid it down, I was like, no. And I set that punch there just to remember that was the one I used. And then I found a bigger punch. And I'm going back to this paper that has gold foiling on it. And you can see I use my punches upside down so that I can get every bit of paper out of them. So there's not big gaps in between them. And also so I make sure I don't miss a section. Okay, so now the little gold foil dots show. A lot of punches. I couldn't find one that was perfect. I wanted a slightly smaller border. And then I realized I have the scallop punch of, it's like the one she used, but it's a bigger size. And I didn't want to waste more of that paper. So I'm taking that circle and putting it into my punch, but it got a little stuck. So then I tried to use my tool where the end is a little sticky to move it around. And again, I just always punch upside down. I think that's like a trick somebody taught me long, long time ago. And now one of you told me to punch my corner rounder upside down. <laughs> I wish somebody had taught me that years ago. That is so much better. I probably didn't need a new corner rounder. There, I like it now. I think that's super cute. We're getting a layout figured out. Then I'm coming back with the washi, right? Because that was the whole point of this card. And what I'm doing here in this card is what I'm like, <laughs> terrible about doing. So I opened up the paper pad, I made one card, and then I put everything away. 
But the point for me on this was just to use the washi. I wasn't necessarily sitting down to use all of the Along the Way collection. And Tasha sent me so many beautiful embellishments that I want to take my time using them anyway. So I'm just flattening out that washi and I, the reason that I made it so the lemon paper didn't go all the way to the edge is so that the stitched border would show. And I'll put a close-up picture of this on my Instagram too because I don't know if I have a really good close-up in here. I'm not sure. When I opened the Happy Mail and stuck the tape onto the counter and then left it there for months, you know the ends get kind of wadded up and globby. So I was just trying to have fresh tears and kind of make sure they went in an angle with the edge of the paper. Just messing around. If you have tons and tons of washi tape, keep in mind that you could do card fronts exactly the way I do my scrap cards or fabric with just miles and miles of washi. I would probably use a light or white background because so many washies are sheer, but you could just use random scratch paper that you had sitting around too if it's a really solid washi. I'm just fiddling with this and what I'm doing is tearing it again in the middle and moving it over because remember whenever you're covering up the center, you don't, it doesn't matter. It can have a tear, it can have a hole in it, you can have a drop of purple ink where you only wanted blue. Yeah, that's a thing that happens in my craft room. Maybe you guys are perfectly tidy and that never happens. Okay, so I'm gonna fiddle with this washi, but I'm gonna get this figured out and get it laid down nice and flat. And I really like having the same pattern in a card or the same shape, but different sizes. So in this card, I have big lemons and small lemons. That's why I went with the lemon paper because I was looking for something with that pattern repeating. And here I'm just putting the layers together. And the centerpiece says smile, and it has a little bit of floral on it with some yellow in it too, so that helps it all work. I'm just holding it down, and I'm gonna pop that up because I want that centerpiece to, I mean, you could put it down flat. If you don't have foam mount, you do not have to run out and buy any, okay? Or you could just, layer up pieces of cardstock behind it to lift it if you don't have foam mount and you want to try something. Here we go. We're just gluing them down and then it'll come together really quickly. It's just putting all the parts. Deciding is the hardest part when we make a card, isn't it? And I love yellow and blue together. I think it's really fun. Of course, I have the bias towards the blue, but... <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great week. I have been doing some DIY projects around the house and taking video on my iPad and my phone. So hopefully I'll remember to piece that all together and share it with you. And I'm gonna hit some more Tuesday mornings this week. I've got a lot of fun things going on. Not much working going on this week, that's for sure. A lot of crafting and relaxing. Okay, how cute is that? And then she did all the work because she made the cute embellishment. All I had to do was stick down the washi. And one thing that I think really makes a card, but doesn't always show in video or on Instagram, is to have a lot of little details. So here we have the blue paper has a stitched die in it. We've got multiple layers on the popped up sentiment. We've got washi with tears on it and the lemon paper with tears. So there's a lot of little details, even though I didn't put any Wink of Stella, I didn't put any bling on this card. I might later, haven't decided. That's, that's one thing I have a tendency to do is not really stop and ask myself if I'm totally done. Sometimes I add it. She put all these together and sent them to me. It was so fun. And then what I'm doing is straightening the card on the glass mat so that I can measure and eyeball and get that thing centered. There we go. It's super cute. It just says smile. And then I'm looking at it and thinking about next steps and layers because if I put it on cardstock at this point, it will be a little boring, right? It would have a, I think a quarter inch white border all around it. So I'm thinking about that. Then I'm using up the last of the washi. I don't usually do envelopes right now at this point, but I still have more of that washi on the counter 
and you know on my mat and I want to be sure that I grab it and claim it for this card it is really nice if you're making cards to make matching envelopes as you go so say you stamp a dog and you color it beautifully with Copics it's kind of neat to stamp that same dog onto the envelope or some stamps from that set so that your envelopes match I used to be really good about that I'm not as much anymore now I have a tendency to grab some washi or a couple of favorite go-to stamps when you get happy mail from me there's almost always going to be stars on it it's probably not going to be the same stamp but there's almost always stars and the reason I'm putting glue a little bit of art glitter glue on this washi is just because it's been sitting around for so long and I especially don't think it would hold up on an envelope right this is a reuse if you get happy mail and it has washi on it you can do the same thing you just peel it off stick it down to something and come back for it later sometimes I stick it to my lamp you just never know depends on how clean my counter is and if there's space look I finally used the adorable lemon washi okay so now I'm looking at this and thinking I could stop right here right it would be a beautiful card and maybe I should have you guys can tell me if you think I should have stopped right here because maybe I should have but I just couldn't I couldn't leave it and so I started looking through my book and that blue foil one caught my eye but the reality of it is that paper is so pretty I didn't want to use it as a covered up layer so I was really struggling I was looking for green because I'm not a giant green fan and I thought there might be some in the pad to go with the leaves but I didn't see any so then I kept looking and trying to decide if I had another layer what would it be then I picked this one because it matches the little sprigs on the smile sentiment so again we're using those same themes and it has the cute little leaves that are the same shape and I cut it five and a quarter by four inches so that it was my next layer so it has a little bit of gold leaf popping out see that gives that extra layer and picks up on the coloring from the scallop on the sentiment but this paper is way too beautiful to glue down and not punch out of first right so this is the trick that I always forget when I'm layering my cards but when you're using gorgeous paper do not forget so now I have a scallop and a circle that I punched and I can use for embellishments for next time in that beautiful gold paper and I have more of the paper so I could make a card with that I could use it for embellishments on some other card whatever and you as the recipient would not know the difference not one single bit okay so do you think I should have added that or do you think I should have left it off you tell me I don't know and then I look at things and think "Ooh, maybe I should have inked the edge of that in blue I always forget to ink the edges of my cards and things I glue them down and forget so I think if I stopped and thought about it I would probably ink the edges of almost everything all the time then I managed to get ink all over but look I'm trying the gluing like cat and paws Gretchen using my adhesive and my cutter thing probably better for my nails and I sped this up obviously I'm not this fast <laughs> since I punched out of that paper I went right through the middle between them just to make sure it's not floppy or weird hold it down and some people use their tools to peel that plastic off I just use my fingernails I think that paper is just so gorgeous because you get a little bit of a reflection from it even if the color you know you're unclear on the color but it just shoots the light back at you anyway if you like this collection be sure you go to Tuesday morning near you and check it out because I could have bought the entire collection yesterday I just resisted look how cute it is okay let me know what you think and if I got too carried away with the layers I'd be happy to hear your ideas and then I took just a tiny tiny bit of washi that was sitting on the counter and put it on the inside usually I use scraps of paper and they're bigger but I just I don't know why I'm obsessed with this lemon washi <laughs> 
Thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.